Hey there, I'm Bruce Kirkby, longtime MEC ambassador. And if you're gonna be spending time in the backcountry this winter, it is never too early to start preparing. We're seeing more and more people joining us in the backcountry, and that's wonderful. You'd never catch me arguing against anyone spending time outdoors. But travel in the backcountry comes with some very real inherent dangers, and it carries with it some very real responsibilities to keep you and your partner safe. So whether you're a newcomer to the backcountry or a veteran, come on inside. Let's talk about what we can do to get ready. So the very first thing you need to do is enroll in an avalanche safety course with Avalanche Canada. And it doesn't matter if you've spent decades in the backcountry or this is your very first season. These courses are imperative. You'll learn to identify and select safe travel terrain. You'll learn to work with the information provided in the avalanche forecast. So take a refresher. Number one thing, get that booked into your calendar. Then it's time to start thinking about gear. And the critical part of safety in the backcountry for everyone is to always carry shovel, probe, and beacon. One vitally important point I want to make about beacons is that everyone in your party has a modern digital three antenna beacon and not an older single antenna version. If you have one of these, I know they're expensive, it's time to retire it and get yourself a modern beacon. You'll carry other stuff, of course. You'll have, you know, a headlamp, warm down jacket, first aid kit, and water, but the foundation of safety is a shovel probe beacon. Now, number three, you actually need to practice with this new gear. So the first time you're using it isn't out in the field when it counts. You need to get your probe out. You need to put this thing together and use it. Understand what a pack feels like through the snow, how it's different than a rock. You need to practice shoveling in concert with your friends so you have a plan of how you're gonna shovel big deep holes in the snow. Most importantly, beacon searches over and over. You don't want to be doing this for the first time when the stakes are high. And number four are human factors. And nothing plays as big a role in your safety in the backcountry as the group you choose to travel with. It's so easy to overlook. And you'll go over much of this in your avalanche safety training course, but it's important to keep it in mind at all times because you want to travel with a group that has the same ideas and objectives as you do. Far more important to come home having had fun, become better friends, safe and alive than it is to carve some gnarly turn or to send the steepest couloir. And I know personally my closest brushes with danger have been times when I knew rationally that I shouldn't be doing something. My training told me otherwise, but there was such pressure to go along with the group that I just didn't speak up. So really consider carefully who you choose to travel with. Now, the final piece of the puzzle is having a solid game day plan. You want to have checked the most recent avalanche forecast. You want to be on top of the weather. And you also want to be talking with your partners about different objectives in case the situation changes. Then you're ready to go out and have fun and be safe on the first day of the season. So we'll see you out there this winter. Holy cow, things are changing fast. How do you like that walk off?